Hey guys, so welcome back to another video and this week we're gonna look after like it's a kind of a like everyone train legs right and if you don't train legs start training legs so we'll be looking at how to isolate your soleus muscle and your gastrocnemius muscles let's jump right into it so before we move on forward you need to understand two key things so one is the motion of plantar flexion and one is the motion of dorsiflexion because that's I'm gonna be talking in that sense so it will make your understanding a little bit easier this is plantar flexion and this is dorsiflexion. Plantar flexion, dorsiflexion. So this is our normal calf raises that we do. You go completely down, go completely up, you're on your toes. So this is dorsiflexion when you goes when the foot goes dorsiflexion. This is plantar flexion, dorsiflexion. Before we analyze the video, let me tell you one important thing. So a muscle produces its action only when it crosses over a particular joint. In this case, trying to achieve plant reflection and plant reflection is happening at the ankle joint. And the primary mover in standing calf raise for plant reflection is gastrocnemius. And there is one more muscle called a soleus which works only when you are doing seated calf raises. What you just saw now was a standard or normal calf raise that most of us do and that is meant mostly for your gastrocnemius muscle. So a lot of people just consider calf muscle. So calf muscle comprises of two muscles. One is gastrocnemius and one is soleus. The soleus is present a little deeper than the gastrocnemius. So but by doing a standing calf raise, you will work more on your gastrocnemius. See how the seated calf raises are done. So this is the position for seated calf raise. Your knee will be at an angle of 90 degrees. So, and again, it just everything is same, and the weight loaded will be on top of your quadriceps. So again, the same plant flexion and dorsiflexion. So this now your foot is dorsiflex, and this is plant flexion. So in this case, your soleus is working mainly. The primary mover in seated calf raises, or when your knee is flexed, is soleus instead of your gastrocnemius. The reason for that is basically now what you have done is. You have shortened the length of gastrocnemius. Why? Because gastrocnemius is a two joint muscle. So, what do I mean by that is the gastrocnemius goes all the way down till your ankle and it has attachment or it crosses the knee. So, when you shorten the length of the gastrocnemius, it is not able to generate enough amount of force in the given length, or we can not, or this is also called as active insufficiency. So, again. And seated calf raise, you're working mainly on your soleus instead of your gastrocnemius. And if you want to see the difference, you can just feel the muscle. You won't like you find the contraction is not actually in the gastrocnemius. It's mostly in the uh, soleus. Most important part for either standing or seating calf raise is that you get the stretch in your uh, soleus and your gastrocnemius. And how will you get the stretch? Is uh, the platform. It should be like your heel should completely drop off because if your heel is not dropping off you're not, not gonna get the enough stretch so as I always keep on saying that think your muscle as of a rubber band the more it stretches the more um, power it can generate and if you don't have access to the gym it's completely fine like you can do it on a staircase uh, you like the best way like sometimes I don't even use the weight staircase is just a, like you do it in the end of your workout and you will completely feel the burn in your gastrocnemius trust me and as well as your soleus just use the staircase it will com works completely fine that's it guys for today i hope you learned something new from this and uh, let me know if you like this video and if you like please subscribe this channel and share this video as much as possible because we need to spread this awareness or yeah that's it so i'll see you in the next video it will be yeah next week i think it's a very fun topic to talk about next week so until then see ya and goodbye